couple of things I wanted to point out. This is the box that you get the bridge slotting jig in. It comes fully assembled. You just lift it out of the box, set it on the guitar, cinch it down, make your cut. It's probably a good idea to hang on to this box because it's kind of a bit of an awkward thing to store. Uh, with this box it allows you to sort of keep it completely assembled so whenever you use it you waste no time uh, sort of assembling and putting it together to use it. One other thing I wanted to point out. Now of course to contradict what I just advised using that box for storage, if you're not going to use the box for storage you can just pull off those cinching clamps and then you have the plate left on its own. Now this is what I wanted to explain. So these pucks are actually a little bit higher than the rails and it's for good reason that I do that because oftentimes I'll use this plate in reverse to straddle the guitar like so and then I use a tracer bearing bit to drop into an existing pickup cavity and deepen it with that tracer bit. Swapping out pickups is, you know, just sort of part and parcel of uh, this type of work. This is a 3 8 by 3 8 double fluted cutter. The cutout in this plate is large enough to be able to straddle over with the hockey pucks any pickup cavity and drop this cutter in, these bearings will follow the actual, you know, tele pickup, humbucker, you know, base pickup, whatever it is, and allow you to very quickly and very safely deepen the depth of the pickup cavity. Sometimes, you know, you get those quarter pounder pickups or you get a pickup with a heavy magnet on the bottom and you, and you need a little bit more depth in the pickup cavity. That's how I do it. That's what I use that tracer bit for. I'm not tracing this. I'm tracing the actual cavity that I've dropped into. Now I've, I've got three bearings, two thick ones and one thin one stacked onto that shaft and that allows me to drop into any existing pickup cavity and then just follow it. Just wanted to point that out, sort of one more use for the uh, bridge slotting jig. This guitar came in today and obviously the action is like way too high, it's got to come way down. It remains to be seen whether I'm going to have to do to this bridge what I just finished doing to that cheap uh, green guitar. In other words, deepen the slot. This is a Chinese guitar. Solid wood top and back, sides are plywood. Lo and behold, we are going to have to take that bridge down and we are going to have to deepen that slot. It's a brand new guitar. Eh? Okay, so let's do some measurements here. So I'm dropping that bit into the existing slot just to see. Okay, okay, so I'm just touching right now. Perfect. We'll just deepen that. That should do it. And that's it, showtime. For depth. Perfect. Woo. So we went down about 564 and that's exactly what we needed. So now we can take it apart. We'll skim that bridge down, check it with a straight edge, reinstall the pickup, then we can cut our saddle. This comes off as fast as it goes on. No danger to the guitar and a perfectly consistent, super precise cut every time. I'm going to just skim that bridge down. Exact same job we just finished doing on uh, Jana's guitar. I am tilting that back a little bit so that we get uh, a 
good strong brake angle to get the right pressure we need at the focal point on the saddle. Check that with our straight edge. Oh no, we've got quite a ways to go. Try that. Okay, the rest we'll get with the orbital sander. Six string. Fourth string. Third string. string. And I put those ebony pins in there. And that is the compensated nut. 12 to 53 at concert pitch. This is the frat dress. There was quite a few discrepancies along the lay of the neck on this one. And of course, as you saw earlier, we slotted that bridge deeper, shaved it down, cleaned it up, and then put that compensated saddle in. Let's go have a listen. Well, this is the wrap-up on the Walden guitar. There's our compensated nut. This is 12 to 53 at concert pitch. And of course, you saw earlier, we slotted the bridge and uh, reduced the depth of it. So I recorded this loop. <laughs> Thank you.